Hey guys, this is Jill and I have another Mixed Media Monday process video. I am using kits from Gossamer Blue August 2016 and I started with this free chopsticks cut file that I got from Just Nick Studio. So at the beginning I showed you what the back looked like and it's a hot mess, but that doesn't matter because the front is all anybody is ever going to see. So I got all of the little cut files backed with three different papers from the Gossamer Blue kits and now I am going to do a little bit of mixed media over the cut file. I started with a pretty thin layer of white gesso. I scraped it on and I don't know if you've ever added gesso over a cut file but it sometimes tends to collect in the little cuts so it's easiest for me if I use my finger and then I go and smooth it all out. I'm using a few different colors. I'm starting with a color from Mr. Huey's. This is called Orchard. And I found that when I'm doing the smushing or packaging technique, Mr. Huey's doesn't really work as great as the Shimmers products. They're two completely different products. Even though they're both a spray ink, they don't react the same, they don't smush the same. And I have a ton of the Mr. Huey's colors and the fact that it doesn't work in the same way as the shimmers really is kind of a bummer for me because I have to work a lot harder and I'm not always as pleased with the result. That being said, this was the right orangey color for this layout so I kind of had to make it work. <laughs> That's why I added a little bit of water to it before I smushed it onto my background paper. The colors from shimmers that I used are Sunset Strip and watching this video and playback I kind of see that I don't really like that color with this page but that's okay I made it work. I use Deep Blue Sea, Heidi Ho Blue and Don't Rain on My Parade. So now I am going to start getting the layout put together. This is a piece of like it's not quite vellum <laughs> it's um, stiffer than vellum I don't even know where I got this stuff from but I'm almost out of it now so I'm using that to back my photo. I have a torn edge along the bottom and then you'll see that I end up tearing along the top too because it was too long. Then I use the same papers to mat the photo that I used to back the cut file. So I've got, it's I think a pink paisley paper, um, two pink paisley papers and a Simple Stories plaid. I love the mix of the colors in this kit. I I tend to work in pinks and blues and yellows more so than I do blues and oranges and greens. So it was a challenge for me, a challenge that I really liked. I feel more confident using these colors now than I did before I got these Gossamer Blue kits. So matting the photo, hand cutting my layers. I love the way that the layers look kind of wonky, not perfect. I am the opposite of perfect. I know I bring this up in every video, but I I don't do perfect. It's just not me. I stapled those pages, or pages, gosh, I stapled those layers together. I like to staple because then the edges kind of lift apart a little bit and give a, um, more texture and dimension on my page. And now I'm going to work on the title. And I originally I was going to have the cut file going along the left side of the layout and then after I finished my mixed media and I wasn't 100% happy with it, I decided that I wanted to flip the page around and have the cut file stuff on the right hand side so I could cover up the parts that I didn't love. So I'm going to put So Excited in those awesome foiled thickers and I end up moving things down just a little bit um, compared to what it looks like now. But I, I glue down the mat for the photo and then I'll use um, roller adhesive to put the photo on top of the photo mat. So here I'm kind of scooting things down a little bit. And I always glue down my embellishments with liquid glue if I've done mixed media. It doesn't seem like a roller adhesive works at all to keep that stuff on your page once you've added a layer of gesso and the spray inks and stuff. And I am using the exclusive stamps. We get 
a stamp set in both the main kit and the Life Pages main kit with Gossamer Blue. And I, this is a, a photo that my friend Rebecca took of her son. They've been on this big, huge adventure in Colorado the whole month of July. And she saw my sneak that I did with the Gossamer Blue kits and she commented on how much she loved the stamps. So I asked her to send me some photos and she texted him to me and th this is her little guy after roasting his first marshmallow. <laughs> He's got the best facial expressions of any kind of kid I've ever seen in my life. So of course I had to choose this photo to scrapbook. And so anyway, back to the stamps. She liked the stamps from Gossamer Blue this month and so I wanted to incorporate those. And in another sneak from one of my design team members, um, France, she had done some stamping and fussy cutting of these stamp sets. So I had to do what France did. She used white pigment ink on craft, and I love the look of that. But the white pigment ink I have is not stamping that great at this point. So I opted to use um, a Jenny Bolin ink. And I've had that ink in my stash for seriously at least like six years. And those ink pads are still just as fresh as the day I got them. So I used brown. And that goes with the wood grain in the back, uh, the background on my page. So I just fussy cut that one out. And then I will use my paper trimmer and a punch to do the other ones. So here is um, a little bit of embellishing. I... I had different intentions as far as embellishments when I first started this page. I was going to use some of the little canvas banner flag things from Pink Paisley and once I started putting the page together it just didn't fit. So I decided because I had a lot going on in the background to do minimal embellishing. I decided to add that, what does it say, the great outdoors adventure is waiting. Um, right over the photo, and then I add in a few of the puffy stickers from the Outfitters collection just to have more color that ties in with the colors I used when I backed the cup file. I used foam adhesive on a few of the pieces just for some dimension for a little bit of difference in heights on my page. And then I decided not to use one of those stamped images and just went with one and I added in a, um, the Get Lost Puffy sticker onto the layout as well. And I kind of think that that's enough. With all of the spray ink action, with the cut file, I just didn't know how much more I should add without it detracting or distracting from the photo. So I added a little bit of orange thread and that is my page. Thanks for watching.